I'm Kylie Lara and I am originally from Waukee, Iowa and then I went to Ames, um, Iowa State for college. So when I was there, I got to intern with CCF. So today I'm just going to talk a little bit about my experience as an intern uh, with Campus Christian Fellowship at Iowa State. The reason I took the internship originally is because Dave Chase um, asked me if I would be interested in being an intern with CCF and at the time I didn't fully know what that would entail um, and it was a new program at the time uh, so really it was brand new and no one really knew exactly um, what that was going to look like and I think that's kind of the beauty of it just in general is that it does look different for every intern um, but I just want to talk a little bit about my experience and why it had such a, such a lasting impact on on my faith, um, but also, you know, just the relationships that I was able to build through that experience. So some of my favorite parts of the internship was just being able to, I don't know, just see what the gifts that God had uh, provided me with that maybe I hadn't seen before and it just allowed me to really grow in those areas and grow in areas that maybe I just didn't even know that I would enjoy and, and challenged me in a lot of ways. Uh, we got to lead a message on a Tuesday night each semester, uh, which the first one I just remember being, you know, a little bit nervous, a little bit overwhelmed um, to be teaching on the Bible and then to also be in front of, um, you know, all my peers, trying to teach them about that information too. But I think uh, the best part of what came out of that was that I knew that God just really took over that night and he just used me. And, and it really took the pressure off when it was just, when I just knew that it was God uh, speaking through me uh, rather than me trying to use my own words to, to impact my peers. Um, I also loved the relationships that I built with other campus ministers, not only at CCF, but also um, around the country because we would go on retreats. We would do different, there was like a student conference that we would participate in and just a lot of great experiences and ways to meet people. So I really enjoyed that. Um, but I think more than anything, what I really loved about my experience was the fact that I just grew a lot in my faith um, because I was challenged to do that, but I also had the support from the other campus ministers and, you know, just kind of the accountability from them to continue to grow and learn more about the Bible um, and grow in my faith and also to be a mentor to other people and that really challenges you and allows you to grow in that experience and in that space when you feel so supported and encouraged. Um, and I guess that kind of also leads into some of the challenges, which obviously <clears throat> um, when you're working with people, sometimes, you know, there's just challenges that come with wanting them to grow but also knowing that you can't force any um, growth on them. And so there's a lot of trust in God and that he's working in their lives um, so that rather than you trying to change them, trusting that, that God's working in those experiences. So I think the challenge truly, um, which I also talked about in some of the great things, was trusting God in those times because there wasn't anything um, at times that I could do to change a person's heart and I just got to be a vessel for him. But, you know, he really had to make those changes in people's lives. And, and sometimes that's hard, maybe when you see so much growth opportunity in them and so much potential, um, but just trusting God in those times. And same with the messages that you would give on Tuesday nights. It could be challenging sometimes when you felt like the pressure of trying to 
create a good message. Um, but through that, also learning that, you know, it's good to prepare and it's good to do as much as you can to be successful, of course, but um, just trusting that God is going to use you and work through you um, and that it's his words, not yours. So some of the challenges, I guess, were those. Um, but overall, it helped me to grow and to know that God is <laughs> truly in control and there's only so much we can do to um, to change people or change um, the things around us. Like we can be God's uh, arms and feet, um, arms and legs, but you know, he's really the ones that, he's really the one that has to um, take the seed that you plant and, and grow that. Um, which in a lot of ways takes the pressure off, but it also is a great thing to learn um, when you're in ministry. And, you know, the last impact for, for me is that I learned the value of ministry. And now my husband is going to be on staff at CCF, which I'm really excited about. And to be able to continue to see um, this internship program grow and to be able to, um, yeah, just see see where God takes all the current interns and how he grows them and the program itself. I'm just excited to see that grow. And um, I just hope that you all can really be a part of that and, and be able to support the, the great program that CCF has offered to the students. Um, so that that is really all I want to talk about really just the great experience that I had um you know some of the challenges but really even though there were challenges they really helped me grow um and I just hope that you can help support CCF and and keep this internship program growing and um just be a great support for for these interns who whether or not they continue on in ministry, um, whether they are vocational ministers or, or actual, you know, like on campus um, or in a church ministers, like it's all so important and you're always going to take what you learn here um, with you beyond the walls and the grounds of your campus. So I just hope you consider supporting this great ministry and these awesome interns. Bye.